The South Dakota School for the Deaf will be moving to a new location in the former TCF Bank this fall. But before it makes that transition, staff hosted a special event one more time. Kelloland News intern Lauren Solick shows us how SDSD is preparing for the move. Every July, the South Dakota School for the Deaf hosts a month-long Hands in Motion program. Now that event and others are heading to a new location. Hopefully that will continue, and I think it's going to, and um, it will be sad to go, but on to the next chapter. And we're just so thankful for what SDSD uh, has for all of us. We spoke with Kevin Barber, the president of the South Dakota Association for the Deaf, through a voice interpreter. He says he is worried about space limitations at the new location. The space that is there is limited, and I see the number of participants here, it grows every year. So that is a concern. That space is just. You know, the space that they're offering just isn't big enough. We also spoke with SDAD Secretary Patty Kuglich through a voice interpreter. She says she wishes the state and Board of Regents had worked to find a better location. That location that they found, you know what, it's really, it's not good. It's not an appropriate, friendly space for our goals here. Look at all the green that you see here, grass. It's. The state and Board of Regents should have done a better job finding a better place. As the school transitions to the new building this fall, parents and children at SDSD are just looking forward to the continuation of programs like Hands in Motion. We've grown to, you know, kind of associate this building with SDSD, um, but certainly they transcend this building. And so although we're going to miss the building, we're sad to see it go. You know, we're looking forward to that next chapter and to, you know, being there with SDSD and continuing this program, right? Yeah. This debate is the best place ever. In Sioux Falls, Lauren Solick, Kelloland News. To learn more about the transition to TCF, follow the link under this story at kelloland.com.